What does your husband, L.A., mean to you? Um, I think he, um, he represents a lot of things to me. He represents the stability, the, the, the warmth, and the kindness that you would want from a husband <laughs> in a relationship. Uh, I guess the good thing about it is that he knows me. He knows the type of person I am. He knows what I'm capable of in the studio. He knows my, um, my likes and dislikes as a person, uh, musically and, and all. But the thing about it is, is that when you mix those relationships sometimes, we all know that it's possible for him to work, uh, but it's harder. You have to work harder at it. You know, you and L.A. have a very tangible aspect of your love, that of your little son, Aaron. How does his sister treat him? It's great. I mean, they love us and we love them. I think the only thing that they get upset with us about is that we're not there enough. They're great kids, and, and everyone always says, God, you know, you're out here, you have kids. You, know, you always talk about your kids. You always do. That's a part of life. And let's talk about the fact that I had my daughter when I was 18. Now, that's something that I don't promote. I would not want anyone to do that. But, yes, you guys, I'm here to prove that you can still do what you want to do in life. But um, the thing about it is, is that I do believe, I strongly, strongly believe that we have got to set some type of precedence in this business for the people that are going to be following. We have to do it. To me, if it wasn't for Janet, I wouldn't be here. And people before Janet. Do you ever get tired of that, that glamorous image that you always have to portray? No. Because to me, it's not glamorous. It's just me. Makeup, hair, styling. I mean, everyone in the room over there is like, Peps, show us how you do your eyebrows. Peps, I mean, I work great with my makeup artists. We have a lot of fun.